everyone how's it going pixels here and we're just doing a quick video going over the patch notes for september 12th update that's going to be dropping next tuesday on texas chainsaw massacre the game this is actually quite a big bug fix update it's something that we've been needed and you know the fact they're dropping this a week after the last update is really really good and shows that they're actually responding to the community feedback very quickly which is really really nice so uh, there's actually some quite decent and big changes happening in this including some balance and stuff but uh, let's jump straight in it anyways um, but they have said we have our next rapid patch planned and targeted to go out Tuesday, September 12th. While we have verified the fixes within this patch on their own, the team will spend the weekend verifying the fixes within the rest of the game's build, particularly that they do not create any issues in other areas of the game. It is important to note that if any... Ta if any tack on issues should arise during that phase of testing, we may have to delay the update, but Tuesday is our target. And for the sake of transparency, we wanted to share these and process it with you, the community. Uh, so coming from Dead by Daylight, uh, like years ago, when I used to cover that game, it's actually nice they're doing this because so many times Dead by Daylight would just throw a patch out and you could tell there was no like testing going on there. Like uh, with Dead by Daylight, it was like you could, you know, put, put a pin in some water and they would just have a massive ripple effect across the entire game, break and something else. So it's nice to see that they're going to be active looking to see if this is going to cause any more issues around the game. So uh, let's hope that it doesn't and doesn't get delayed. However, I totally understand if it does get delayed. Uh, so let's jump straight into the patch notes. And they have fixed the victims being trapped collision issue. Uh, resolved an issue where victims who are trapped then lose collision control when trying to use a gap afterwards. So this was like if you went up the ladder from a Hitchhiker. Uh, and you stepped in a hitchhiker trap, sorry, uh, if you've been up a ladder. It wouldn't allow you to go through any crawl spaces, which is kind of annoying. You could also get stuck in the ladder as well, so it's nice that they're actually fixing that. This issue is not only an issue related to hitchhiker traps and victims, uh, so a lot of collision issues, which is nice. Um, <laughs> there was a pretty nasty collision collision issue on uh, the gas station map, where you can actually get stuck in a well and you know do some crazy shit there, so... It's nice to get in some collision fixes because I think the collision fixes were definitely a priority for this game. There's so many bad collision problems and yeah, it's nice that they're getting rid of all that. So this, I think this is the achievement where you spawn with three level three perks. Um, I'm not sure if it does include the ability or not, but yeah, it's nice that that one's going to be fixed because you can't unlock that right now, unfortunately. Um, continue to the lobby end screen. This issue was caused all active players to wait the full time of when choosing to continue the next match due to disconnected players. This will help speed up the process of match making it to the next match for active players. Um, usually, I, I mean, this isn't really concerning. Mean, usually, if I'm playing with a full team or, you know, I've got some people in my lobby, I usually just quit straight back out and then requeue. I feel like it's a lot faster and more intuitive than waiting for people that are ready up. But uh, it's nice that they are fixing that as well. Uh, fix continue missing from custom game end screen uh, i haven't done any custom games so i can't really comment on that however they said we resolved an issue where the continue option was missing from the end screen of custom games uh, so that's the fixes that they have in place so this is the stuff they've changed uh, battery match start state so the car battery will now start on and be powered by default so that's really good you don't have to mess on turning the battery on and getting no xp for that on the family side because <laughs> i know that was pretty stupid uh, this will help family members to get their task at hand and set up for the match much faster which is really good because i think uh, sometimes when i played hitchhiker and stuff i'm not even anywhere near uh, the fucking victims come out of the basement because i'm still turning on a car battery on the other side of the map uh <laughs> you know when people do the the rushing and stuff so it's nice that they've done that and you know it's kind of pointless turning it on obviously you wanted to, you stop them from getting out but you got no points for doing that you know you're doing kind of a big objective there turning something on you didn't get any xp for it so uh, it's kind of glad like I'm, I'm happy they've done that so it's just automatically turned on uh, so they've changed the respec and lobby options so now once you're in a in a game lobby this is not the main menu so if you're in a game lobby waiting to start the game they've uh, stopped you from being able to respec your character and being able to level them up in there i can totally understand why they've done that i don't see the point in that even being an option to begin with but they've removed it in anyways which is a good thing uh, you can still edit the character loadouts and spend any unused skill points however uh, but you can't respec and that'll have to be done via the main menu now so that's a nice little change they've done i think they've really looked at the flow of the games and you know uh, people's kind of retention of the game with the, the last update with the countdown timer which we'll get into as well uh, so they tuned the bone scrap limits so bone scrap piles are now limited to only three uses per pile i believe it was 10 uh one of my viewers told me that it was 10 i've never really tested out myself but i think three is fair definitely because it was pretty crazy being able to just kind of spam and getting bone scraps over and over again on the same pile uh, this is just one step in terms of balancing the scrap usage and frequency uh, so they've tuned the cook lock usage xp farm i've seen so many people do this I've actually seen this on like the first day i ever played the game someone was sitting there as cook just 
locking unlocking a door and just getting like 50 xp over and over again which i thought was absolutely crazy and uh, you will still receive the xp bonus replacing each of the three locks once but you can't spot like you can't farm it anymore uh, which is a good way of them uh, negating that that farming method however there is still a farming method with cook it's kind of part of his ability however i don't really think you can do anything about that um it, it's just part of his ability where he can constantly like just figure out where you are again i suppose it's more up to the victims to just sort of um sort of avoid that from happening however he does get a lot of xp for doing that as well um so they have tuned uh, the lobby timer to three minutes thank god because i was getting really worried that i'd be you know covering this game for the next you know two three weeks without another patch and having to sit in the lobby for five minutes five plus minutes waiting for people to ready up it's just so painful i still think three minutes is still overkill though um, but I, I really don't know why they went with that in the first place. I know it was kind of uh, to combat the game not starting with just six players. But it, again, people just want to be quick and snappy in games. They don't give a shit if there's six players, if I'm being honest. I just want to get in there and get out. I want you know, to experience the game, gain my XP, and then move on to the next one as fast as possible. I don't want to be sitting there just staring at the state of the KUI and literally just bored out my mind waiting for the game to start so i'm glad that they've done that to set it back down to three minutes because i think three minutes was sort of okay i s still say probably drop it down to like one and a half maybe or two just uh yeah i, I mean it goes up 30 seconds in anyways when there is an 11 phase and if people ain't ready by then well that's their problem so um but yeah the community generally disliked this change it, i mean definitely did so the last thing they've tuned is further anti-cheat tuning and improvements. We have continued our work on anti-cheat and are one step closer to reintegrating PC into crossplay, though we are not there just yet. Players encountering usage of cheats or hacks in public PC lobbies, please continue to report them via the support. And please stay tuned for the official challenge for any news on the status of the upcoming patch. New edition of the Mortal Times will arrive on Wednesday, September 13th next week. Thanks for your continued support and patience. So, like I said, this is going to be a really, really nice bug patch. Um, again, though, I'm not seeing anything regarding perks. So, you know, some perks are actually bugged in the game um, for both sides. So they really need to look into that and, you know, try and get... We need to try and give them feedback about them. Especially the Grandpa Sonar perk for Victim, where it doesn't actually do anything. Sometimes it will, but, uh, you know, you've got like seven charges. It'll consume a charge and it doesn't do anything. You're supposed to see all the family members when it happens. So, unfortunately, it doesn't doesn't work right now. Um, there's a bunch of other perks not working too, so... Hopefully we we'll get that in, a, in another patch or a later patch. However, this is a step in the right direction and it seems like they really scrambled around to get this done as fast as possible because they probably realized the demand for these types of updates to happen to the player base rather than what's, what the previous patch was, which wasn't a lot other than you know some XP glitch fixes and then removing PC from crossplay. And again, it's a shame that PC is not going to be reintegrated into crossplay with this patch. However, I can probably see that happening in maybe two weeks' time. Um, you know, if they do another patch a week after this patch, that's probably when they're going to add PC back in, which I really hope so because I like playing with my PC viewers and, you know, my friends on PC. So uh, that needs to happen as well. But overall, I think it's a decent uh, patch. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to going back to just three-minute uh, lobby times, to be honest, out of all of this. Uh, I was really glad that they're doing that and you know all the collision issues that being fixed is a big win and you know definitely a really good update but, but anyways I will leave a link to the patch notes in a pinned comment down below in the comment section so you guys can go check them out for yourselves and be sure to hit that like button leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think of the patches hit that sub button for more TCM content and I've been Pixels and my awesome viewers I'll catch you guys in the next one